Hello YouTube, Kyle Car here. Um, well, two months ago I went on this adventure of trying to find something to do. I got a bit too pumped to do metal detecting, so I decided I wanted to give other working to try it. And um, fast forward to two months later, I finally finished all the projects that I purchased from my local Hobby Lobby store and just wanted to kind of give some feedback on, on the journey. So, when I first started out, um, it was pretty rough. Um, especially in terms of stamping and things like that. And um, by all means, I'm nowhere near good at any of that stuff yet. But um, as, as I started working with the leather, working on the projects and following the instructions, I did feel like I was getting a little bit better. Um, my first couple of outputs were not very good. Um, then I did some practicing. So, for example, um, I did some stamping, um, some practice stamping on some scrap leather. Um, I did some practice stitching on some scrap leather. It was a very valuable tip that um, was in some of those videos that I've watched on YouTube was to buy some scrap and do it on scrap first. And then also do things on projects. Um, I made a smaller dream catcher, for example. And then my most recent ones, I didn't do out of a project. I actually went and I picked out, I picked out these materials and I created these um, without any instructions um, after after I created the first small one. The kit I bought also had a, a wristband in it, a bookmark, um, a keychain, a wallet, and I also did a ton of thumb purse. So, um, the keychain. So, as you can tell, like, as I evolved in my stamping, I got a bit better at it. Um, the credit card holder, you can see it stamped in a, a pattern on that. And then the last thing, the thing that I finished up, uh, was a, they call it a Tom Thumb purse, a little purse that put some uh, decorative stamping on it, some deer prints, and some pattern in the background. So definitely, like, as, as I was doing it more, I got a bit more comfortable. Um, I also took the credit card um, project and then I hand cut out uh, a scrap leather uh, pattern to try to, as you can see, it's not anywhere near spectacular, it doesn't look anywhere near as good as the other one, but I did some practice before I did the actual project. And all of these were uh, the, the really bright leather, and these have all actually have been dyed, so you can see in the back of this one, for example. Um, they've all been dyed to that color, instead of being the, the plain uh, vegetable leather color like this is. So overall, I had a really good experience with it. Um, I definitely do intend to continue. Um, it became kind of addicting in some ways. So I ended up spending, which is probably well over $150 in tools at this point. Um, they weren't necessary tools. I just kind of went on a rampage every time I went to the craft store. And we get down into that leather aisle. I'm sure I'll be doing that again this weekend. Uh, now that I don't have any of this, this stuff left in my need to think about some new other working things to do and, and try to tackle those. Um, I don't feel like I'm at the point where I could take and just get patterns and buy like a side of leather or something and start going like that. Um, you know, definitely need more experience with some projects, some different kind of projects you can buy. Um, they vary in price from, you know, a dollar or two or two. Um, the largest kit that I bought had several projects and that was like $40. Um, you can buy kits in bulk too in, in some of your um, online stores or you can buy like 10 on kit or something like that. But uh, all in all, I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, the stitching was actually, the stitching and making the webs and the dream catchers were actually my favorite part, part so far. Um, they were very relaxing, so um, when, you know, as a business architect, I have a lot going on in my mind. There, there's organized chaos, and then there's business architect chaos. Um, and being able to just relax your mind 
slow down for a minute and, and do that actually has helped me uh, to be able to get through some of the projects that I'm doing at work because I'm able to just you know take a step back, just bring everything down about five or six notches and then I have much more clarity when I'm, when I'm doing brainstorming and, and other kind of analysis exercises. So, um, it's been hugely helpful. Um, I definitely recommend anyone who's been thinking about trying it and just go out and spend, you know, 10 20 dollars on a kit and a couple of things that you might need for the kit. Um, some of the kits are really good and they have everything you need in there. Others, you know, there might be a couple of things to do and just create something. Um, and then, you know, see how you feel after you've done that, after you've experienced it. Um, but also, it's important to understand that you're not going to create a pristine product, just jumping into it, and that's something that I struggled with a little bit. Um, not too bad, but a little bit, because I like, you know, when I do something, I like to go all out, and I want the finished product to be great, and that definitely wasn't something that happened um, in, in this situation. So, um, that is my advice. Um, if you're thinking about trying weather working, uh, do it. Try it. There's a low cost to study. If you just want to check it out, see if it's something for you, build a dream catcher. Um, you can get just simple wristbands like this. It doesn't really do too much um, without having the stitching. Um, you can buy these little, these little card holder kits that has, uh, you can stamp stitch. It's pretty good all-rounder for just giving you a general idea if you're going to enjoy it or not. Um, this one was a little bit more, there's a little bit more to this one. Um, you know, not too much, but a little bit more. Um, trying to get it to, get it to form out right and um, a bit more surface of stamp and a bit more dye. Um, you don't even have to dye a lot of them. You could just, you just put it together how it is, really, if you wanted to. But, you can do whatever you want to do, make it your own, and don't be worried about the results. It's your first go at it, and the more you do something, the better you're going to get at it. So, that's all I have today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful, and maybe if you were on the fence about other working, it gives you that little extra incentive and push to try it out. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.